Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly open different Chrome profiles. In order to continue with this tutorial, you need to make sure you have different accounts set up already. Let's verify that. Load up Chrome, go to the picture icon in the right corner, click on it. Under other people, if you don't have anything besides guest, then that means you don't have multiple accounts. Check out the tutorial in the description to learn how to add different accounts to your Chrome browser. Once you have it set it up, it should look something like this. Here we have person 1, user 1, user 2, and guest. Okay, now we have two built-in ways to quickly go to our desired profile. Method 1. Assuming you already have one Chrome window open, you can click on the profile icon in the right corner and down here, you can pick which account you want to open up. Then just click on it. Let's say that I want to go to user 2. I just click on user 2. And now I am on user 2's account. Method 2 is helpful if you have Chrome open but it's in the background. Then you can quickly go to your desired profile by double clicking on the Chrome icon in the dock. And then by here, you see a list of profiles that you can choose to go to. So let's say that I want to go to user 2, just left click it, and voila, now I am on user 2's account. Note this assumes you have Chrome in the dock. If you don't, please check out the tutorial in the description to learn how to put an app in the dock. The two methods that I just talked about are the built-in methods that don't require additional steps. If you really want to create a shortcut, then there is a method that it's fairly easy to set up. However, it is still a two-step process and might not really be worth it. But I'm going to show you anyway in case you might like it. So method three, create a shortcut. Right now I'm on user one. I'm going to go ahead and go to Google. Okay, so well, I think that was my default page. Oops. <laughs> anyway, now we are on Google. Then you want to click on the three dots in the right corner. Then go down to more tools. Click on create shortcut. Over here, we are going to name it user one Google and make sure to check open as window, then create. And voila. Now, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so right here, you see it has created a shortcut. Now, the thing with this one is when you open it, it doesn't open a quote unquote regular browser. This is what it looks like when you load it up. You get this, you get something like this. It creates a little icon right here. Now, when you have this open, you can click on the three dots here and then click on open in Chrome and that will open up user one. Then repeat the same step with all the profiles. However, the websites have to be different. Otherwise it's not going to work. Let me show you that one more time because it is quite different. Okay. So I don't know what's up with this one. We're going to delete that. Okay. So here, this is user one Google, right? I'm going to click on it. Here it opens up a window, but that's not the regular Chrome. You can click on the three icons right here and then choose open in Chrome and you'll be on user one. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to user two. And this time we are going to use, let's say, um, gmail.com. Then I'm going to click on the three dots here, more tools, create shortcut. Now this is user two and it's Gmail. So open this window, create. All right, see now, oh wait, hold on <laughs> one second. It pops up that right away to show you what it looks like. So let's close that and that. Okay, so now you see we have two icons. One is user one, which will open Google. The other one is user two, which will open up Gmail. So if I click on user one, opens up Google. And then I will need to click on open in Chrome. Now I am on user one's account. So let's close that. If I click on the shortcut user two, Gmail, it will load up the Gmail window. Then I click on the three dots and go to open in Chrome. Now we are on user two's account. And if you really want, you can drag and drop the following two shortcuts 
to your desktop. It creates a shortcut, but it's not a direct shortcut to the profile. One of the older Chrome versions had a link where you can directly open up the regular Chrome profile. However, the newer version changed it and you can no longer use that. So this is another way where you can kind of create a shortcut. As you can see, it's still a two-step process. It's really up to you which method you want to use. Personally, I feel like the third method is cool. It's interesting. However, in terms of how easy it is to use, I feel like either the first method or the second method, it's going to be easier than the third one. Anyway, you have all the options here. With my limited knowledge, you might be able to do something with automation or some kind of script. Maybe I don't know anything in that area, so I won't be able to help you with that. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.